taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No. Tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <clears throat> and, yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? Jaime, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Obviously. Rob and I are gonna look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. Then I'm gonna go make this thing, any way I have to. Sure, no one was sad to see it go. Here, 
Why don't you start with me? Unless you can't so get enough Frank Stone. Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could I be I wonder if Linda's with okay with all this Frank Stone place. stuff. That's why I'm sure there's gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it, it goes An into the omniverse? mindset of the workers. Far out. People were depressed. They were suicidal. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention yeah. Frank... I don't know. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that night, before or since. And don't reckon I ever will again. <laughs> Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Him crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Oh, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant... It happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnished chamber location is perfect but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks, me too. Oh, yes! Huh? What is- It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah, oh yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, it takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. We're gonna see the place where Franks don't actually killed people. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law, no offense. Hey, I don't wanna get in any trouble either. So, we should... Yeah. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood From a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one campfire. Looks old. Huh. Bonnie and her friends used to come out here and hang out. Bonnie seems too cool to have friends. That's true. They were not cool enough for her. And that's why she moved to New York. Wait, really? <laughs> no. But she wasn't always so... Bonnie. What? She was kind of a goody little two-shoes. Who had bonfire parties at abandoned mills. What's wrong with that? It just doesn't feel very goody little two-shoes. Well, Bonnie was the president of the Clean Up Cedar Hills High School Initiative. We'd come through here and pick up all the litter that had blown in off the road. Oh. Goody little two-shoes. What happened? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Gotta love a happy ending. As I was saying before, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. Chris Gordon, another victim claimed by Frank Stone and Gravity.
Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. Huh, a little low key. Better get back to Robert. Like I was saying. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. I'd been saying when I was little and he was really drunk even though he doesn't remember I kind of like knowing what he went through I got that he didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad I got to see him the way he really is he showed me all his scars you know he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. No oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see. 
What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up. Okay, so, every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can. As I've been saying, I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. As I've been saying, no way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around. I think this is it. Up there. What was I just. Oh, right. Oh. I thought you just liked. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <clears throat> huh? Yo. You coming? 
Uh, yeah. Be right there. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ah, ah, get off me! Get... Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie! Disagree. Not cool! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, a and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, 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 I mean, that, uh, <clears throat> Linda? Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes... I don't know, it's... Different.
Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May, Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> and cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you wanna come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. 
I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get like one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Holy... What can you see? Uh, something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? Rats. What's up? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. <sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. <laughs> Door will take us to the machine shop. Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned steel mill where he killed why is it always clowns? <laughs> okay. So, I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but... He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like, acupuncture? With all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean, like, occult stuff? Look. I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Gotta be a way to get up there. Should open the door, right? Maybe there's something useful in there. Broken? Looks like. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <clears throat> hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So... I'm just in the way, then. You do seem to have been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend lately. And you know what she spends 80% of her time doing when we're together? Talking about how amazing her boyfriend is. <laughs> what? It's actually kind of annoying. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. might work with the generator.
could help with the generator. Job. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay, what have we here? So, what do you unlock, little key? on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, man. Let's see if the key unlocks the boxcar.
Are you really sure you want to do this? Yep. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. got friends. This is insane. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Stone got in and out. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Stone's victims, they're better than her father. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious, we really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert! Back off, man! Just wait! Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. But it's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You wanna fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. We should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. We should wait outside until Robert comes back. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been, like, obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. So? So it doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. 
feels like it's your movie. We're making this movie together. It doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second alone with you. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Hi, May. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there, promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> Oh, is there a reason I should be? You? Huh? What? I don't know.